Welcome back, everybody, to TD Worlds, where we're on the hunt to finish the game. I think one more win, and we get to the secret world, I believe? Uh, I did turn in the last little bit of research here. Kill small enemies. It increased our radius up to 9%. Uh, we're going to be going again with the slow towers, because that's a pretty tried-and-true proven method. And let's win one for the boys back home. World of Nothingness, Ash Mountain. And look, I put on my little star cap. All right. Bring it! We're also doing research on killing large enemies. We'll be looking for, uh, for those guys to uh, die horribly. Let's talk about upgrades we're looking for. Obviously, we're, we've taken the slow towers again. So we're going to be looking for projectile speed. Or I could just take a unique cost and not have to... I don't have the rerolls anymore? Are the rerolls a one-time thing? Why are the rerolls a one-time thing? Now that is not something I agree with. That's actually kind of dumb. Rerolls should be a permanent upgrade, but you only get five of them a run. Ah. Now I would like to find some projectile speed, especially for these early levels, because it's the slow enemies that I think do the most, or it's the faster enemies. Uh. I would like to see a better projectile speed, so I'm going to take the legendary fire. I'm really going to lean into our uh, already innate uh, fire rate. Are already innate, pretty quick fire rate. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty baller. All right, there we go. Everything's under control. Everything is fine. Yeah, definitely want the projectiles, but I want, like, a legendary projectile speed in. Uh, so we've got burning damage, tower radius reduced by 10, 10%. Uh, uncommon freezing with a crit chance. So we've already got a increased radius of 9%, so we'd only be losing 1% radius for a burn ability. But the burn wouldn't get through our burn would not affect shields, which is what we seem to have the hard, largest amount of problem with. I'm going to try the crit damage for a change. So it is going to cost us 7 tower, but we've already got a pretty good uh, uh, tower discount. But it might all work out in the end. And I still get to keep my massive rate. Giggity. Yeah, the projectiles are slightly different. Like... Projectiles are very much so slightly different. Going right on a tower. 94. So, percentages are additive in this game. Yeah. 
Big cost. I will visit this shop. I'm curious if I can get another hat. Oh, glad to see you. Thank you. I, so I have some. I always have something. No hat? Um. Take the tower upgrade. Let's do... Running into the same problem that I did last time. I'm just taking the cheap tower upgrades. 82 for a tower right now. That's kind of awesome. Like, so far, we're holding the line pretty good. Now, I don't know at what point the crit damage actually happens. So the f or the larger bullets, the crit bullets? You can see that the towers are firing a small bullet and it'll occasionally fire a big one. That's supposed to be the crit kicking in? And if so, if I want to really lean into crit, I would want my tower firing as fast as possible. Great fire rate. Machine gunning. Shit. This defense up for. Or am I going to have problems for? that off, and I want to grab that tower. Grab a tower there. I'd like to grab a tower there. Okay, so far so good. Let's grab there next. This has the potential. I usually get a lot of leaking through here and here. On place. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Now it's big boy. Okay, this isn't so bad. Might be okay. And I think I just completed my research to kill uh, the first stage of research. Uh, what do I got here? Take another tower upgrade. I'm still on the hunt for projectile speed. Um, I, need, I need to remember to place towers. Don't place towers. That's a really good way of dying. Trust me, I'm an expert at tower defense games. Here, let me show you my many credentials. I think I just botched this up pretty bad. Maybe not. Nope, oh, we got it. Completely under wraps. What's my fire rate? 57%? Uh, 80 some odd percent increased fire rate? 87%? Oh, 77% increased fire rate. Big firepower, baby. And the shot before the boss. So I will grab extra shards. The power upgrade. Firepower, cost improve. Firepower. And I will restore, I will top off my health. Let's go. So I've got... So I have, um, I have extra shards now, combined with the cost of my towers, co combined with the fact that my towers cost 72, that firepower. So the crit seems to be proccing a lot more than, uh, 5% of my shots. 
if the crit is actually if the crit shot is those larger bullets. Come on, give me another spot unlock. Thank you. Just give me more spot unlocks. On hold, damn it. I really could have used an extra life there. Fast enemies, man. Like an early unique projectile speed would have been awesome. Um, oh yeah, let's turn to my researches here. Uh, large enemies take 5% more damage. That's kind of lame. Not gonna lie, that's kind of lame. Whatever. Can't get anything at the shop. But what do you have to say? Uh, yes, you. I see you have a... Take it. Well, yeehaw! Cowboy hat! Hell yeah! Do another run. Still looking for the... Still looking for that win. I would like... Projectiles. Bad. Love some projectiles. Dude, I love the cowboy hat. That's pretty dope. What other strategies could I try and play? What if I just have a massive radius? Doesn't do me much good without the projectiles. Uh, at this point, it's I think it's just those enemy those enemies are just too fast. I would love a common radius improvement, I guess. I mean. I say that's kind of bad, but look at my radius. It's pretty good. I'm covering a lot of area. All right now I feel comfortable. Now I'm comfy. All right. Give me a decent upgrade here. Uh, uncommon fire rate? Sure, I'll take an uncommon fire. Get some of them unique rewards, please. A simple man, I just like my rewards unique. Thank you. Yeah, I definitely want some projectile speed. Power upgrade. Grab this one. At least I pretty much have most of these levels down pat. Like, I've played enough of this game that none of the levels really surprise me much anymore. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Nope, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Breathe, Joe. Breathe. Everything's fine. Firepower. Oh, I hope I clicked firepower. Oh, thank goodness. It, I thought I missed and hit the stupid range increase. Or the stupid cheap power. 
come from both sides for Not even a problem. One there. There. I'll throw one there. Elevate them. Let's get fancy. I tried to... I've, I've been trying to get in the habit of building my defenses from front to back. But it doesn't hurt to leave a tower in the back for... Uh, Come off, uh, stragglers. Alright, bring it on. We have a lot of spots to build, do we? I'll just keep building in the free spots. Rain damage would be nice, I think. I think a, a chain damage, I think, would be lovely. That was kind of a waste of a buy there. Yeah, it kind of was. Oh, well. Um, chain damage, uh, there's that AoE that I would love. Chain damage, that's awesome. A rare explode on death. My firepower by a lot. We're gonna take it. Now you might ask what went into my decision making into picking that upgrade. And well, the fact it said rare on it. That's pretty much it. What I'm hoping this will do for me is when all these enemies get real clumped up and bunched together, that it'll uh, hopefully take a lot of them with it. Take a lot of them. Uh, one will take a lot of other. One enemy will take a lot of other enemies with them. Oh dear God! It took me forever to arrive at the right words. Projectile speed! Hell yeah! What is that? That's twenty-four. All right, so we've almost made up for my lack of projectile speed. Has that made for kind of? Kind of made up for the lack of projectiles? So that's 24, so what is that? We'll have 36 remaining. Isn't bad, I guess. Ooh, that does do a lot of damage. Yeah, that explode does do a lot of damage. Okay, we might be alright. Um... Take the cost reduction. 100 gold, one more tower upgrade. Fire rate, shield damage, cost. I'm gonna go shield damage. And I'm gonna pray. RN Jesus, bless this run. Come on. Quit spouting the dribble, let's go. Oh, so I'm already dealing. I am basically one-shotting their uh, shields at this point. So that little bit of AOE I'm getting from the explode on from the explode on death seems to be helping. Yeah, just that little bit of AoE appears to be doing something. I'm not sure what, but it is doing something.
Yeah, I just needed a little bit of AoE. That's all that this run needed. Now it's time to, I guess, start filling in. I think we've got everything under control now. Yeah, you can see how long that how long how far that bullet chases. Trying to keep up with those little guys. Alright, we made it past round one. So if I can make it past round one, I'm usually okay. Well, that means I kind of have the right variation of skills and abilities. Hope this was the last time. I don't know if it is the last time. As I said, we're kind of looking for that final victory now. And I don't know when we're going to... when we're going to get it. I'm hoping this is the run where we kind of get our final victory. Alright, World 2. What would I like to see upgrade-wise for World 2? Um, I'd like to see more projectile speed being the big one. I'd like to see more tower damage. Those are my two big those are my two big asks. Um, I feel like our towers are cheap enough for right now. I would like World 3 to make some cheaper towers, but I need tower damage and projectile speed to help make up for some of the lackings of the Hours. So what's interesting is that these units spawn other units, but the explosion from that immediate but the explosion from my ability here immediately kills those uh, units spawned. Your towers ain't bad. Maybe I want more shield damage, too. So right now, the Explode on Death definitely works the best if all the units come in clumped together. I would mind the actual um, area of effect damage upgrade. A projectile speed, yes. So that makes up for... So I have now completely wiped away my lack of projectile speed, and I now have a gain of 2%. The next upgrade I would like is uh, more firepower, definitely. Firepower, fire rate, I'm kind of in between those two. But I don't feel like the projectile speed is, necess is necessary anymore. I will do the... I am going to do this. I am going to do the tower improvement. That's going to come in handy... That's, I think that's just going to be handy to have. Ours are costing me 82 right now. Next thing I definitely want... Alright, so now I feel like I definitely need tower damage. So I've got firepower minus 30% from here. I'm trying to th think and play at the same time. That's probably going to be my downfall. There I go thinking again. After this wave, I'll, I'll kind of talk through my thoughts here. What I'm thinking for tower damage wise. Alright. What I'm thinking is what's my firepower right now? I have 21% firepower plus 30% firepower. That's 51% firepower. This is taking away 30, so I'm only at 21% firepower. I need a big firepower upgrade. Ooh, 
Ooh, big enemies. Wow. That, like, immediately killed. Wow. I'm actually very impressed with that. Yeah, because it blows up, because it spawns the enemies, and then it blows up. Maybe more, maybe a little bit more shield damage. It doesn't look like I'm quite getting through the shields in one shot. I also got to be on the lookout for the pets. Remember to look for pets. Another firepower or cost reduction. I'm going to do one more projectile speed and then I'm done. And I'm going to go to the shop. Oh, right, because this is the one that gives me that free upgrade. I will restore my little bit of health. And I will... I'm going to save the rest for the big shop coming up before the before the final before the this world's boss. Now we're going to look for the stars. I should see one. Come on, let me click it. Uh plus 15% fire rate. I'll take it. I wonder what these little things are. They don't allow me to click them. So. Eh, it doesn't matter, I guess. So that gives me a 15% plus 15% fire rate. Oh. Stop focusing for a second. Ah, so I've got pretty decent fire rate now. Yeah, the little guys are no longer really a problem. This projectile speed that I have is more than enough. So I'm going to take the... So let's see here. My fire rate... The Blessing of the Stars gives me 15. This is 20 plus 15 is 25. 25 plus 41%. So 25 plus 41, 66% fire rate right now. This should bring me up to 25. If I treat this as 60 plus 25, 85 minus 1, 84% increase in fire rate. Oh, this level. I think I'll be okay. I don't know that for sure. Or damage, I'm thinking, it would be lovely. Because my explosion here is uh, 94% of power damage. So if I increase that, the explosion's more. Oh, tried to sneak in back there. I'm not going to let him... I didn't even see that little line come in. Firepower shield damage. I'm going to take the firepower. We'll take the shield damage upgrade. All right, I'm going to take... I'm going to try and double up ability. What am I looking for? Either an improvement to my explosion on death. Yeah, I would like to either improve my explosion on death, have just the straight up AoE ability. Or... else I like.
field treating us. Field is still a problem. Probably shouldn't take chain damage then if I'm... I did want this. Alright, so that's going to reduce our fire rate a little bit, which I think will be fine. With the extra life. Alright, yeah, I just want the extra life. Now, let's see here. So my fire rate is minus 30, but I've got a lot of fire rate to work with. So I don't think I'm in any real trouble. Yeah, I don't think I'm in any real trouble. Yeah, we're looking really good. Wow. Actually, pretty good. I think I would like the cheaper tower upgrade. If we survive this, I would like the cheaper tower upgrade. Wow. The AoE thing is just kind of nuts. The AoE, the towers explode on death, is, is actually nuts. Projectile speed's looking good. I don't think we have any problems. Yeah, we win. All right, that was easy. If I've... The trend seems to be if I can get to this, if I can get past one, I am golden through World 2, no problems. But then it's World 3 that I start to have the troubles on. So this, I think, is when the enemies really ramp up damage a lot. So I'm definitely going to be looking for... Or ramp up health. So I'm going to be looking now to get more damage. More damage to both shield and to enemy. Enemy first, then shield. Or want to do it? I want to do shield. I think. I think I want to do shield damage. I think shield damage is going to take priority. So one more level into shield damage, and then I'm going to do firepower. Uh, how do these guys spawn? But on both these sides first. Dude, what am I doing? I need to place towers. Okay. So what would I like to see for... So it is offering me up a another explode on death. So I've already taken the hit for the explode on death, so it just pays to upgrade the existing explode on death. I think this is okay. Yep, this is fine. Houston, we have no problems. Still looking for a... Firepower. Firepower and shield damage. Okay. Now this is interesting. 
It's offering me up another. It's interesting that it's offering me up another uh, modifier. I'm not sure if I like that. Is it if it offers me up something that I don't already have? That could debilitate our turrets. I do like that it makes me think about taking modifiers. Still definitely looking for deal damage, I think. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, um, unique area of effect. I've already taken the hit. I've already taken the penalty, so it's just a positive thing. Coming from... Doesn't give me a good building spot, really. Okay. Yeah, more shield damage. Although for the final boss, it's... The enemies aren't as grouped together. So it might... I think I should take shield damage first. Firepower, fire rate. Um, I'm gonna take the fire rate. Or the fire... I'm going to take the firepower. I'm gonna visit this shop here. For a free... Power upgrade. Will give me another boost to shield damage. And now I feel like I'm in a pretty good spot there. Single path? I think so. No, it's not. I was wrong. Which I should be kind of used to at this point. This game really forces me to think a lot about what upgrades I'm taking. I, I notice that there's a lot of different upgrades that you can take in this game. And it really forces me to think long and hard about what upgrades I think I should take. And I like that. Oh, it's already done. Pick, I guess. Firepower, fire rate. I will take this firepower. Um, up. Still doing pretty decent damage to these guys. Yeah, last le last last run through, our damage fell off so hard. And I didn't like that. I didn't like how it just seemed our damage fell off so, so hard. Yeah, I think I better take some a cheaper tower upgrade. I do have that, right? Yeah, it's a unique of minus 18. I want to bring these to below 80, ideally. I have 144 of this essence. Other tower upgrade. Let's go. Ooh. I don't know if I've done this one before. I am doing okay. I did not mess this up. I thought I messed this up by placing a tower too late. But it's fine. Now I'm feeling pretty good. Oh, now comes the little assholes. And that projectile speed, baby. 
really helping us out a lot. Um, radius would be nice. Firepower, projectile speech, damage. I think that's the last upgrade I can take for firepower. So I would like the extra shards and the extra life. Um, you can get through. All right, let's go. Final boss time. I was really bored. Do you want to go further? Show me what you're capable of. I can uh, attack? No, it's out of range. Oh no, it isn't. I'm gonna hold here with what towers I have. I can clearly survive. Looks like I did a decent chunk to him. We'll build. Oh, nope, I guess I'm just gonna place a tower right now. If I get two guys wailing on him. There we go. Alright, I'm feeling really good about this, but this is the spot where he always screws me over. But I've got three lives. So they're gonna take this path right here. I'm feeling good. I I think I can fast forward through this, no problem. I think we're about to beat him. And then build here. Oh my gosh, we did it. I should have already said that nothing depends on you. We're all puppets here. This is it. This is... This time I will definitely succeed. I'm going to find out what is beyond the border of darkness. Alright. So I myself am very curious. I have no clue what happens after this. So this is the... Darkness beware. So this is... Oh, is this like a true final boss? Or is this just like the last little bit of story that we need to finish out the game? Is there any more gameplay loop after this? Am I going to have to find something new to play? Is this the end? Wait, what? I don't get it. What the hell just happened? Uh... Um... What the hell just happened? Were we... Were... What? I'm very confused by what's... I honestly thought there was more boss after this. Is there not? Is there like a post... Credit scene? Alright. Let's... Thanks for playing. It's acting like that's it. There's nothing else. We're done. Which... Is there a final, final boss? Is there something beyond the darkness? Is this coming in DLC? I, I have to know! I feel like we kind of... There was so much potential! 
Wait, what? Wait a second. Is that it? Are we done? Um. Oh, is, is that it? Is that the end? Suddenly this dialogue from earlier makes a little bit more sense. I think this character had said something about we had died. Like all those times we had died, we had actually died. So that must be what that pile of crystals is. Us actually dead. Um, I don't know if there's anything else past this point. I don't know what to do. I am very confused. This might just be the end for the time being. Oh, what does this guy have to say? I'm sorry we were hiding the truth from you. I have something for you as a little consolation. Maybe we'll inspire you to continue your expeditions. Still missing a hat. I really don't know what happens now. I guess this is the end of the end. We've done the story. Uh, that's it. There's nothing else. Um, shoot. And it looks like we're going to have to uh, find something else to play. Well, with uh, that giant question mark ling lingering, uh, thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all next time.